Hey YouTube, it's Kimiko coming back to you guys with another video. Alright guys, so I'm getting dressed, getting ready to get out on my journey for the day. And I want to come to you guys to talk to you about why the narcissist chose you and how he chooses his victims. So first of all, there's something that you have to understand. Narcissists have nothing going on in their lives. They are empty demonic people so they chose you because you're a good person because you have a good heart because they don't have good hearts they knew who they were going to choose before they even chose them they know what type of people that they're looking for they're looking for god-fearing people they're looking for people that are broken or just got out of a relationship or divorced or in an abusive relationship they're looking for people that they know are vulnerable to them and what they do you guys they love bomb you they love bomb you and they study you they study everything that you say they ask all the questions and when you're asking questions to them they come up with a fake story or something that is intimate or something that makes you believe that oh I can trust this person so now I can then start spilling the beans and telling everything about me and what type of person that I am and then they begin to see that you're a genuine person they begin to see that you <clears throat> love yourself or sometimes you don't love yourself that's kind of one thing also about it they can tell if you are insecure they can tell if you don't love yourself they don't they can tell all these things about you so they can tell that you're better than them they love 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 to come in to a person's life that is doing really well or just being by themselves um they know that you're better than them they know that you have accomplished something in life they know that you are somebody that will take care of them their ego somebody that will praise them somebody that will love them love them unconditionally and that's what they're looking for they're looking for people that they know will be a good source of supply for them. So just know in your mind that you didn't do anything wrong. They sought you out. They chose you because they knew that you were better than them, that you were a good person. And they're jealous of you. They're jealous because you possess all the things that they do not have. And so what they want to do is they want to come and they want to come into your mind, into your heart, and they want to suck the life out of you. And once they suck the life out of you, then they're gone. One thing about narcissists, they bore very easily. So once they are got you, they're on to the next victim. And that's what we are, guys. We are victims. So also they're jealous because you don't possess what they have. You have empathy. They don't have empathy. There's nothing in their body that screams, I have empathy. They don't care how they make you feel. <clears throat> they don't care that they know that they're going to come into your life and ruin your life and go on about their business. They don't care about any of that stuff. They, The fact that you're kind, they're not kind. It's a game. It's a game that they play with us people. It's a game that they play. And we don't see it because we're looking for love. Or we're wanting someone to love us. When we have to dig deep down inside and love ourselves. Once you love yourself, then you will see that this person doesn't love you. So you can't be hard on yourself. You can't be down on yourself. You just have to know that eventually, once you realize what type of person this person is, that you'll get over it. It doesn't take a short amount of time. It takes a long time to get over a narcissist that is coming to your life intentionally to ruin your life. They play a game, you guys. They love bomb you. They make you think that they are all these people. But once that mask slips off of their face, it's undeniable. They can't play that game anymore. That monster, demonic, devilish person has to come out at that point. Once that mask slips off, <clears throat> once they become bored, there's nothing you can do. It's going to slip. And once you show them that you know who they are and what type of person that they are, 
immediately they don't want to have anything else to do with you. Once you stand up to that narcissist, once you go no contact, or once you bruise their ego and let them know you know exactly who they are and what they are and what they set out to do with you in your life and that they never meant anything that they said that they were or all the lies that they told and you found out once you confront them they're never ever ever gonna want to be bothered with you again so and since that's a good thing just always know that if you got away you are the better person if you got away that was the blessing so stay no contact go no contact stay no contact because every time you keep going back they're going to discard you again and every time they discard you it hurts 10 times more and they're going to punish you if you stand up to them and then you go back to them all right fam so this is my video for right now i'll come back to you guys in a little while like i said i'm getting dressed i'm getting ready to go to work um and i got 600 miles to do so i gotta get going but please make sure that you subscribe to my channel make sure you hit the like button make sure you hit the all notifications so i can put out these videos and you guys can hear my journey my story i can be uplifting to you guys make sure you guys leave a comment below if you're going through this narcissist abuse we can talk about it together we can share experiences we can give uplifting comments to each other and we can get through this together you already heard that saying it takes a village to raise a child well it takes a community like this to heal us from this narcissist abuse. All right, so that's all I have for now. And this is Kimiko. And thank you so much for tuning in to my channel, Undeniably Narcissistic.